Hey, this is Malika of Evanston Live TV, and we are here with Henry Wilkins. You gotta feel amazing. <laughs> I'm excited. So, you know, this journey started three years ago. So I was at a District 65 board meeting and some Fifth Ward residents, Lonnie Wilson, Bobby Burns, Bruce King, stood up and said, we need to return a school to the Fifth Ward. And I didn't even know about the history of the Fifth Ward. And so I did some research and picked out the baton from folks like Judo Logan and uh, Jim Summers and the Citizens for Evanston as they pursued it back in 2012 and said, look, we got to get it done this time. So uh, we got a group of parents together and other community members and I'll thank some of the members including you Malika <laughs> for, for your help in, in building the momentum so uh, we're excited so we're here to support District 65 and uh, two things we're going to support them one is to amplify the black voices so we received a grant from Northwestern that'll reach out to all of Evanston residents to hear what do they have to say about education redress and it includes you know feedback on the fifth ward school as well as other education across the city um, and then also with that, um, born out of our grant from Evanston Community Foundation is to pursue a foster community campus. So we'll look to partner with D65, Fleetwood with Jordan, and Family Focus Building to create a, a campus model that will not only be good for the students that will attend this new school, but also good for the community members, uh, providing wraparound support services, etc. So we're excited. What do you think the outcome will be today? Unanimous. Unanimous? Yes, all yeses okay. for Fifth Ward School. And what, do you know where the site is going to be? Yes, it's going to be uh, near the site of the 2012 referendum site. So between Fleetwood Jordan and the Family Focus Building, uh, the Foster Field, um, you know, ideally we minimize the land that's, you know, removed, but um, that would be the location. That's, that's what we have in mind as far as a vision for this Foster Community Campus, is kind of bringing all those entities together. I mean, for example, at Family Focus you have a a theater so you can do some arts there we want to build a steam um, center you know we've been pursuing this science technology engineering and math we really want that to be a part of the, the um, campus concept so um, Fleetwood Jordan has gymnasium we think that they could be the all things like almost kind of a plus the Y potentially so we'll see um, you know, a lot of things uh, we're looking at and considering so yeah that would be the site for the families of Fifth Ward. The families have just been here. Um, there's been a lot of work over the last 50 plus years, and we're saying that, <clears throat> on, by many people. Uh, and so again, I just want to reiterate this, and I get a chance that we are here because we stand on the shoulders of giants. We did, this is work that was laid. Uh, it was no superhero work. We were following up and just completing what was started. Um, so we thank you for that. Tonight, we make, we are set to make a critical vote that will undoubtedly go down in Evanston Kogi, Kogi District 65 history. This is, this is history. No, actually, it's our story. This night, our action, the work that has led us here, the future, it belongs to all of us. Members of the public are welcome and invited to address the board during public meetings. Speakers are discouraged from using the public comment period to air specific concerns about staff members. My name is Shelly, and I'm going to be reading this one. It is from H is important to me to have a fifth board school because that would mean that we have a open opportunity to go somewhere that is good and great. I am here today telling our neighbors to stop speaking for and over our black community. That has been hurt by generations of anti-black racism in Evanston. We have our own voices and our own stories about the desegregation and forced busing of our people. One such story belongs to my cousin, my elder Scrappy. He was one of two black children that was forced on a bus out of the fifth ward to integrate Lincoln School. Imagine that. As an Evanston Skokie community, I hope that we are able to rise to this moment and continue to work as a team to improve our schools 
education, affordable housing in all of our wards, and community welcome for all of our students. Every day, every child, whatever it takes. Thank you. Today, we have the opportunity to return to the community that which never should have been taken out of the community in the first place, a school. For that, true, it's true reparations, helping to repair the heart without even needing to call it reparations. Amen. So, integration without equity lends itself to what many of our community recognize as being drive-by diversity. Mm -hmm. Where race, racial and class integration in Everson is brought about by the burden of black, that our burden that our black community has had to bear yeah. for decades and for generations by having their children exported wow. from their community every yeah. single day and imported into the white schools in the name of integration. Mm -hmm. This is a historic moment. It's not only about making history, it's about being on the right side of history today. Tonight, let's make history and be on the right side of history by voting not to give a school, not to build a school, but to return a school that was taken away from the community in the fifth ward, a school they deserve, a school they need, a school they want, reflecting the best of who we think we are and who we claim to be and what we aspire to be as Evanstonians. Thank you all. Five. 